Are you looking for an awesome, easy to use, easy to handle digital photo frame? Well, welcome to Benny Bella 10.1 inch digital photo frame. Inside the box, you get the frame itself, then you get a micro USB cable in case you want to transfer pictures from your computer. You of course get the power adapter and you also get the user manual the good thing here is that sometimes you buy things and the user manual shows up in a language which you don't understand well this one here is in english and if you are gifting this frame to somebody and you want to preload photos videos and a gift message you can do that as well the instructions are on the back of the box the frame itself, as I mentioned earlier, is 10.1 inches, but the actual dimensions are 11.75 inches long and 8.5 inches high. Then this here is a crisp IPS panel, which is touch screen. It has internal storage of 32 GB, which can store around 30,000 pictures. Other than that, on the back, you will also find that it has a card slot in case you want to load pictures from your card. Then it also has a motion sensor in the front. So the display does go black after some time to save you power. And if somebody is around, somebody moves around it, it comes back and starts displaying the pictures. Other than pictures, you can also play videos on it. It does have inbuilt speakers. Now, in case you're wondering, how do you set up this Benny Bella digital photo frame? Well, it is pretty easy. You have an app called vPhoto, which is available both in the Apple Store for your iPhones and in the Google Play Store for your Androids. You download that application. Once you have downloaded the vPhotos app, all you have to do is scan the code. Now, where do you find this code? Well, either you will find the code when you're setting up your device for the first time. And if you don't do that, if you do not scan then, then to get the code, you can go into the settings option on your frame and bam, here it is. The code is going to show up and all you have to do is scan it or enter the code which you see. So tap on this scan icon in the application. It should ask you for the camera access and then it is going to scan it. Bam, here it is. You can see that the frame was added without any issues. Super important thing to note over here is that for this code to show up, you do need to be connected to the Wi-Fi and this frame does support both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Next up, how do you transfer pictures? So of course, you would need to give the app access to your storage. Now, once you have done that, all you need to do is select the pictures which you want to send. So let us say I want to send these two pictures and let us select a few more. So here are a few pictures which I would like to send, a total of four pictures. Once you have selected them, you say next step in the application. Now, in case you want to add a description to any of the pictures, you can do that as well by tapping on the pictures, the keyboard is popping up and then I can add any description. Then the next thing, select the device. So this here is the device where we want to send the picture to. You can pair multiple devices. We get the check mark besides the frame and then tap on the send button on the top and there it is pictures were sent successfully easy peasy now other than using your phone if you ever want your relatives your friends from across the seas to send you pictures they can do that by sending it directly to this benny bella digital photo frame the setup steps the instructions are on your screen right now and they are mentioned in the user manual as well now a pro tip with this Benny Bella digital photo frame is when you first set it up and you display your pictures, they might display with a border 
and you might find that irritating. However, to get an immersive full screen view, the solution is pretty easy. Tap on any picture and then tap on this second option from the bottom left and bam, there it is. You can see that the slideshow, the pictures now are full screen looking pretty awesome, pretty dope on this crisp 10.1 inch IPS panel. Now, once you have sent pictures or added pictures to your Benny Bella digital photo frame, you can always go into settings and customize it to your liking. So if you go into album settings, you can configure the brightness, the volume, the touch sounds. You also have assistive touch in case you want a different language. You have that option as well. And then you can configure your auto slideshow the slideshow mode do you want it random or sequential you can configure the sorting order we want to display a caption with each picture which is being displayed then if you feel like you're going to bed you do not want the digital photo frame to be rotating pictures you can do that using the sleep option and yes the motion sensor is there so after two minutes it is going to shut off the display and then when it detects somebody it is going to come back on of course you can configure that as well you have notification sounds and you have three photo display modes so you have normal wherein everything will be super colorful then you also have memorial and museum you can choose whichever one you want to use now from this home screen if you want to access your pictures all you have to do is tap on any of the picture and it is going to show up your picture gallery right now it is showing all you have filters for internal storage the card the usb drive if you want to create a folder if you want face recognition for specific pictures it has that ai built in now there are times when you would want to remove a specific picture or multiple pictures how do you do that well once you are in this pictures mode you tap on this three dot menu on the top right and now you can select whatever picture you want to and then you have to tap on this delete option over here press ok to delete bam here it is photos deleted successfully now other than your pictures you can also play videos limited to a max file size of 200 mb and you can also play music you have the same menus of usb your internal storage and your sd card there are cases when you do not want your personal photos to be displayed let us say you are on a, a zoom call you are on a video conference in that case you can always switch over to the clock mode and you have different clock options available on this Benny Bella digital photo frame. And there it is peeps. That is the Benny Bella digital photo frame, which is easy to use. And the picture quality, the display quality here is super awesome.